Hi everyone, it's Luke again, and I'm going to do a new installation of how to get the SNES uh, or Super Nintendo emulator uh, to run on your iBroken jailpad. So what I have here is an iPad uh, third generation, it's not the Air, it's running some version of iOS 7, and uh, I have it jailbroken I think with Pangu um, or Evasion, I'm not sure, probably Pangu since it's the newest one. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get uh, the Super Nintendo emulator SNES 9X uh, going on your new jailbroken iPad. And if my style is a little bit too slow for you, just keep in mind that some of the viewers are not native English speakers or they're not very familiar with uh, how jailbroken uh, devices work in the first place. So let's get started. What you're going to need to do when you find your uh, iPad jailbroken the first time is to locate the app called Cydia and uh, get into it. I've relocated all of my uh, apps onto an empty screen so it's easier to see but what you do is you want to open up Cydia. It may ask you to up update your repositories and uh, sources and things like that and let it do that. You can see that the sources are spinning on the bottom there and now it's going to reload the Cydia data and you just want to wait for it when it's done it may ask you to restart Cydia or return to Cydia if it doesn't you're all good to go go ahead and touch on search on the bottom of the right screen there and then type in the name of the application you're looking for so in our case it's SNES 9x and search. And you're going to find a bunch of them out there because it's all based on uh, uh, open source code. Uh, some of them are going to charge you money. Um, but you can see that the one that's recommended is the one that's by Big Boss. It's got the uh, green check mark next to it on the bottom there. So go ahead and click on it. And for me, it's got the green check mark because that's what I installed. Um, so you just have to look for it and it's actually the latest version it should be like 1.5.2 1, uh, 1 or 1.5.3 they're very similar and what you want to do is uh, click on or touch on install in the upper right just right below your battery indicator for me it says modified because I have it installed already okay. and let it do its thing you may have to reboot your device but once you're done there's one more step that we have to take uh, in order to get it to work with your Wii remote controller. So once it's done, go back into Cydia, go into search, and this time we're going to search for something called BT Stack. So go ahead and type in BT, BT Stack, touch search, and it should be the first option that comes up. It's also from Big Boss, so go ahead and touch on that, and touch on install on the upper right, right below your battery uh, indicator. I have it installed already so mine says modify but go ahead and touch install let it do its thing and then come back. Once you're done you're ready to go so let me exit out of here. What you'll find is that you'll have SNES 9X uh, installed on uh, one of your home screens. Go ahead and touch on it to get it started. Now in order to get the Wii remote working you do need to make sure that you, you have that BT stack utility installed and you need to turn off the iPad Bluetooth setting. I know it sounds kind of weird but that's what you got to do. So to make sure that I have it off I'm just going to pull up from the bottom of my screen and make sure that Bluetooth is off and for me it is so I'm good to go. So in the menu here for SNES 9X what I'm going to do is scroll until I see scan for Wii remotes and I'm going to touch that and it says starting scan on the bottom in blue okay what I'm going to do is touch the 1 and the 2 button on my Wii remote controller and you'll see that it says connected Wiimote number 1 and to my Wiimote I've connected the uh, classic game controller from uh, Nintendo for the Wii and it basically just gives you a gamepad with directional controls, an A, B, X, Y button just to make it easier. You can use SNES 9X with on-screen touch controls but 
that's not as satisfying. So let's go ahead and see how the games actually uh, run. I'm going to make sure that my virtual iPad or gamepad is uh, set to auto so it doesn't pop up for me. But you can see in the overlay that you have the uh, directional controls on the left. You have your A, B, X, Y button and uh, left, right and all of that. Um, if you didn't have a, a Wii controller attached, you would see that overlay on screen as you're playing your game. And it works, but it's a little bit annoying and it, it doesn't uh, respond nearly as well. I do have a few games loaded already on this uh, uh, emulator, so I'm just going to go into Load Games. And you can see that I have all of these games, um, or ROMs I should say, uh, ready to go. I'm just going to start with Super Mario All-Stars. And we'll go ahead and restart and go with a new game. I'll turn my volume up a little bit so you can hear it. And we'll go with the uh, classic game Super Mario Brothers. And here I am running it on my uh, iPad with the classic remote controller. And if I don't have anything else running, it, it works pretty well. Uh, I'm trying to do this as I make the video, so it may not go as well as I would like, but you can see that it works. I think it's this one. And that's basically it. But uh, if you take a look at the top of your screen, I'm going to pause the game here. You're going to see that on the upper left, you got these two uh, arrows. That's to control the speed of the emulator. It will fast forward it, and it goes pretty fast. And then you have these three dots on the upper right. That basically just gets you back into the uh, system menu so that you can load other ROMs or you can change settings. Okay, So for example, if um, I wanted to load Lost Vikings 1, I just touch that and it restarts and it will show me uh, title screen and get into it and start playing. The other thing that you can do with the menu, let me get back in there, is to go out to your options and change say your video setting. So one of the things I like to do when I start is to go into image effect, it's the third one from the top, and I select the high quality 2x uh, effect. By default, this is going to be off, and if you do it off, I'm just going to show you. It looks kind of blocky, okay. but if I go in there and change image effect to high quality 2x and go back, it looks a lot better. And it's your preference of what you want to do, uh, but that's basically what you need to do to get this uh, going on your jailbroken iPad. Good luck, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.